So I'm talking to Alex Honor, and he's going to give me a tour of the output screens, the new and improved output screens in Rundeck 2.0, what it feels like to, uh, to run a job. So Alex, what do you have for us? Yeah, I'm pretty excited to show this part. A lot of people um, give us feedback about uh, the old Rundeck uh, job running experience. It was kind of technical and wasn't very uh, user friendly. So we put a lot of work into 2.0 to, to help that out. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to uh, run this job. It's a simple deploy job. And starting from here, um, we thought about uh, what would the job runner want to know? Well, I think um, one thing we've heard was uh, how successful is this job? Because you know when they go to run something, they want to know, hey, should I have people around me? You know, if something goes wrong, or is this thing bulletproof always works? So, you know, given that kind of metric information is important, um, as well as just providing the uh, choices the user might have to make. So in this case, uh, you know, you choose to build. Um, just trying to make these input uh, parameters easier to uh, to decipher. And then also a user might want to know, well, what does this thing do? So here we have the definition of the job. You can see um, here is its steps, six steps, uh, uh, what it's going to do if it fails, and, and so on. So um, I'm going to go ahead and run the job. Now I'm, I'm probably going to run this job more than once to show you some features. You can see here when you go to run it, you're in the summary. Um, you can see what the current step is. If you remember in our definition, there's a number of steps. It's showing you what node and step uh, is running. Of course, up here you see this progress bar. This is the uh, average duration um, of the job. Uh, this is the elapsed time against that average duration. So it's giving you an idea when it should finish. Um, over here is a live monitoring view of the job. You can see I can drill down. Well, actually, now it's finished. Uh, now it's, it turns to the report view. And I can drill down into any node and step and see the output. This is a real simple example I put together. So there's, uh, ooh, look at that, good. Uh, you can see that um, standard error is, is caught and colored uh, and it's kind of reddish brown, so it makes it easier to notice. Um, hey, so Alex, um, those names there, like the, those steps, those are pretty descriptive names. Where, where are those coming from? Yeah, that's part of what you can do uh, as a person that writes the job. Uh, it's optional, but you can see here in this uh, six steps. Um, this is the actual step uh, that's going to be done. This is the uh, this is actually another job that's being called, but I can give it a name. So let me just edit this job real quick and show you that um, you know here here's a list of steps in our job. I can click on uh, on on any one of those and give it a, a descriptive name. So this is what you can show the end user. I mean, this is simple. These uh, these job names are kind of self-explanatory. So Maybe it's not so important here, but a lot of times that could be a script or a job with a with a naming convention that might not make sense to the person that's running the job. So you can indicate what that step is trying to achieve, uh, just kind of in in natural uh, ways of, of phrasing it. Great. So, um, but I wanted to to kind of show this off again, um, running the job and showing you this monitor output. This is uh, I think pretty handy. You know, most of the times you have a lot of steps going over a lot of nodes, and um, and this is kind of a way of just uh, showing the progress, giving you a sense for uh, where you are in the job in terms of uh, the logical structure. And you can still go back to the old, I'll call it the old uh, style format, where you know you, you basically were collating all the output to the to the name and a step. Um, but you might like this kind of tail view. Uh, in certain cases, this might be the, the handier thing to, to deal with. So these various views of the job, uh, really just the user choice, uh, how much detail they want to see. And, you know, one of the things that really uh, let us focus on this report view is auditing. Um, a lot of uh, people use RunDec because it's sort of a system of record of what they've been doing in the operations. And, and so this report a view is a reflection of that. Uh, we still have the, the kind of box score uh, here showing the metrics about how it did, and, and then you can drill down into the step and the and, and node. So this is a, this is a, I think a pretty useful new improvement to Rundeck. Yeah, it really is. Thanks for uh, giving me a tour.